and I was always trying to fit into places because from at home I didn't like the values of wealth and status. So I went out and went to go find some place where I belonged. And it wasn't until I started looking within and discovering my true authentic self is that I am in love with a woman named Stephanie Oligario. And I want to document my journey on how I choose to show the world how powerful love and presence is in healing all wounds and also how much um, we were going to start our family together and we are about to go through the process of um, bringing a child in and it can really see now how important it is to be seen and heard by the people that love you and care about you the most. I want to be able to be that for myself and for my soon-to-be wife, Stephanie, and our child. And I want to be able to show through our life, through the generations, because I'm 26 and we grew up on social media and seen how much it has destroyed our mental health and insecurities and... I'm just really here to share with you how I want to show on my discovery of how much loving and reconnecting to yourself, each other, Stephanie, and the land can really help because we want to have the values. We want to live by how nature lives and how nature lives is that they all just let beings be. We live in a growth mindset we all grow together and when nature grows in harmony they just let trees be and they just let rocks be so i'm here to document my journey of how powerful love and presence can be in healing I can see how much that's been lost in my generation of always having our attention on our phone and social media that we've really lost to know what really matters in life. And that's people who you love you and care about you. And nothing hurts more than being seen, not being able to be seen by the people that you thought would see you the most and social media and being on our phones is really taking that away and it's causing a lot of suffering it's already been happening in my relationship so I'm really going to be documenting my journey of how we reconnect and show how powerful love and presence is and that it can heal all wounds We live by a growth mindset. And what is most important is your soil when you have a growth mindset. So you wanna make sure that you're taking care of yourself, you're taking care of your family, you're surrounding yourself by people who also wanna grow. And you have to be gentle on yourself and gentle with everyone because growth is a slow process you can't expect big changes overnight but you have the opportunity of every moment of every day To come from a place of love 
And we come from the understanding that spirit and source is in all of our hearts. We just have to peel back the layers so that we can speak right from our hearts. And I'm really speaking to the millennial women who are looking to start their family and are really going to need to detox from social media if they want to raise children so that their attention isn't on their phone and that they can fully see them. And they can fully see their white, their partner. Because I choose to live by the understanding that every single person has a choice of every single moment on every single day to choose to come from a place of love, to speak from their heart, while also knowing and remaining gentle in the fact that growth is not all or nothing. It's not up and down. It's a steady, slow process. So you really have to be gentle with yourself. And you have to face yourself. And surround yourself by people who really, truly love you. Make sure you take care of them right. So I'd like you to follow along my journey. The link's in my bio. And it's Stephanie's bio of how we show how the power of love and presence heals all wounds. We intend to live our life by being present with each other loving each other, getting our home prepared, how we choose to be conscious, and how we give our love to nature, how we give our love to ourself, how we give our love to each other, and how we give our love to nature, because nature is all of our mothers. She's all Oh, Mother, we all come from nature. And nature has always loved us. She'll never hurt you. And we have to give our love to her because she's suffering right now. So join me on my journey, please. I'm giving your love to yourself. To others in nature so that we can raise a better generation it's time for us all to come together there's been so much division and divide and hate and I'm sick and tired of it. It's time for us all to come together, reconnect to what truly matters. Spirit, it's all in our hearts. So we just have to take the time to reconnect and choose to always be in it. but being gentle, knowing that it takes time.
We're all in this together. We're all beings. We all live on the planet. And there's no more labeling and dividing. There's no more cast-offs. We all have a right to live here on this planet. We all have the right to be exactly who we are without fear of safety. Let's just all reconnect to nature. Hey beans, my name's Rachel. I just wanted to share with you the story of how I found myself. 